Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's, it's getting kind of late. It's 8.31 p.m. now, so I'm going to try to pull this together real quickly and just leave links so that you can check this out. Now, yesterday, I got a video that was sent to me by one of our sisters. Watch out, Jasper. I'm putting up my feet. Good boy. You can lay right beside Mama. All right. The title of this is called Beyonce, Black is King, BLM, and Black Magic. And I had seen that over here on the side, and it kind of caught my eye for a minute, and I thought, no, nah, it's 45 minutes. I'm not going to mess with it. Plus, it's got Black Magic and all that, and I just don't really want to go there. All right, well, today I get in my email, uh, what happened? Okay, that was weird. I plead the blood of Jesus over my, my computer say, and declare that no weapon formed against it shall prosper in Jesus' name. All right, this came from our sister Tricia. And she says, wow, what an article. Everyone needs to know about this. Know this. Everyone needs to know this about Black Lives Matter. Be informed. Well, I'm thinking like, okay, that black magic thing said something about Black Lives Matter. And then I had seen a video also that I'd watched. It's in my history, I'm sure. And people were yelling, say her name, say her name. And someone was not wanting to, so I, I'm not sure if they got beat up or thrown out of the way or what happened to them. But they just kept yelling, say her name, say her name. And I'm like, say whose name? You know, and I, didn't, I don't think I watched the whole thing. All right, so we get this article. Now, it's talking about the wilderness of sin having nothing to do with naughtiness in the desert. It was, in fact, a reference to the moon god Sin, which is likely why Moses mentioned the day of the month Israel entered the desert. Fifteenth day of the second month when the moon was full. Okay, anyway, it goes on to give you a little bit of history of, from Exodus 16 and 17, written by Derek, Gilbert House Fellowship. And it shows a map there of the old, in the olden days, what the landmarks were. All right, now, moving on down. After talking about King David and Absalom uh, and things from the Bible, we get into this. We connect this to the modern Black Lives Matter movement. The movement's organizers have explicitly stated that the purpose of, quote, saying their names, unquote, is to summon spirits. Did you know that? I thought it had to do with somebody, a black man, getting shot by a white cop. And things like that get having been ha having happened in the past, and the black community is sick and tired of it, so they want justice and reform in the cop in the police departments. Didn't you all think that? Did weren't we led to believe that? Well, Satan is so slick, isn't he? That's not at all what it's about. Oh, I'm sure that a lot of the people marching, carrying signs, the peaceful ones, they probably believe that. 
and a lot of people who know it's going on believe that. Because just try telling them that all lives matter. They get mad and want to punch you. Okay. Okay, I haven't seen that done uh, just on videos and stuff. Supposedly, uh, during these marches and stuff. All right. So, the movement's organizers have explicitly stated that the purpose of saying their names is to summon spirits. See, and this is a link, the August 19, 2020 program from AFA General Counsel Abraham Hamilton III to hear it from BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors and BLM Los Angeles founder and California State University professor of African studies Melina Abdullah in their own words. I'm not sure how to put a link to this. Uh, it says, do not reply at wordpress.com. So, uh, I can't... Okay, I'll click on that so that I can get the, the IP address or whatever you call it, URL. Put that in the description box. How about that? All right, then it says, this is not a racial justice movement. Their protests are occult rituals performed openly on the streets of America. And its roots are the sin of the Amorites who lived more than 4,000 years ago. This is like, what? Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously. And then I remember the video that I just di didn't bother to watch. And it says, for details on the Amorite Kispum ritual drawn from peer-reviewed academic secular research, see our book, Veneration. I will click on that and leave the link. Then it says, our free mobile app for iOS and Android brings these studies right to your smartphone or tablet. Links to the iTunes App Store and Google Play are on the main page at www.gilberthouse.org Okay? I have to take a breath. Okay, then it talks about their trip to Israel. Now, let me go back to YouTube. This video is being done by Missionary Spencer Smith. The channel is called Spencer Smith. This was put up August 27th, 2020 and already has 83,363 views. Let me let you just hear a little bit, because it's long, and then, like I said, it's getting late. To this video, because it really does seem like it. When we Not Do you notice the words they use? Ancient masters of celestial lore. Guys, I, that, I mean, did, did Helena Blavatsky write the script to this video? Because it really does seem like it. 
when we say the names, yeah. right? So we speak their names, we say her name, say their names. We do that all the time. That you kind of invoke that spirit, and then those spirits actually become present with you. Right? But guys, they're saying that when you say her name, you invoke her spirit, and she comes, and you can resurrect. That's what these ladies actually just said. Right now, you live in a very charged political climate. Many people are becoming more divided now more than ever. And the politicians are doing everything they can to come up with a solution. And many of them saying that we have the solution and blaming the other guy for causing the problem to begin with. And with all of that going on, you have to understand there are spiritual aspects to this. Of course, there's political aspects going on. And of course, there are things happening that are not good politically. But is there more to it than just that? Is this only political? I dare say no. There is a spiritual aspect to this. Clearly. When people all across the world are rising up and having protests and burning down buildings, there is more than just politics going on. There is a dark spiritual movement happening behind the scenes. I am convinced that Beyonce Knowles is an occultist, that Black is King is an occult movie meant to initiate you into the occult, and I'm convinced, and I will prove to you, that the three ladies who run Black Lives Matter are nothing more than witches practicing witchcraft on a global scale. I will show all of those things to you in this video. And so this video will be titled Beyonce, Black is King, Black Lives Matter, and Black Magic. Hey guys, your friend Sp okay. Spencer here. I have been studying the Bible. Okay, well that cut and then... It, um well, we'll Ever since I got saved, I was saved at the age of 18, uh, but recently God has allowed me to start learn a little bit about the occult, and I've, I've had a lot of experience going back and forth to Africa the past 13 years of my life, and uh, dealt with a lot of the witchcraft that goes on over there, the ancestor worship, and uh, just basically African spiritism that happens on a large scale over there in the African continent. And I've learned a lot about the occult. The occult is always trying to pretend that it's something else. And it okay, I'm just going to stop it there. So you get a, you got a taste of what this is about. The guy has the experience. He has the Bible knowledge. Uh, he said he's, he will prove it to you. So if you don't believe it, let him prove it to you. I don't have to hear any more. After what I saw on a video, I saw him yelling, Say her name! Say her name! And I thought, what in the world are they talking about? Say her name. Whose name? We're not talking about her. We're talking about some guy that got shot. Well, no. That's not what they... They weren't in uproar about that. They wanted to hit somebody to say her name. Well, anyways, that was a few days ago. I didn't give it much more thought. And then yesterday, the one thing shows up. This show. And now today, the other. So, I'm going to put as many of those links as I can in the description box. From the email. Okay? And, of course, to the video. Spencer Smith is the channel, if you can't see them. Beyonce, comma... Black is King, comma, BLM, comma, and Black Magic is the name of the video. And this guy is Missionary Spencer Smith. And now it looks like he's a radio professional. That's some professional looking stuff right there. He's got a studio. But, you know... A lot of these people, they get their money off of uh, making videos and being on the radio. And then they take their time and go on their missionary trips. You got to raise money somehow. Flying to Africa is not free. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this. 
and over myself and my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And I, I pray that every one of us be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And just remember that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Isaiah 54, 17. Don't forget that one. Keep remembering your spiritual warfare prayers. Keep on your armor. Plead the blood of Jesus. Oh my goodness, it won't be much longer. It won't be much longer. We'll be transfigured into our glorified bodies, get our instructions, and be back to kick some demon butt. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.